Today we are learning about prime factorization. Now prime factorization is a way of taking a number, like 24, and splitting it up until we find only prime numbers. We start by splitting 24 up into two factors. We could do 3 times 8. Now 3 is a prime number, so we're not going to use that one anymore, but 8 can be split up again. 8 can be split into the factors of 2 times 4. Now 2 is a prime number, so we'll leave that one, but 4 can be split up again. 4 can be split into the factors of 2 times 2. Now both of these 2's are prime numbers, so we'll stop here. We can write that 24 is equal to all of these prime numbers multiplied together. So 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. Now no matter how you choose to split up 24, these are the prime factors you'll always get. Let's try doing this again, but now we'll start by splitting 24 up into 12 times 2. Well, 2 is a prime number, so we'll stop there, but 12 could be split up into 2 times 6. Again, 2 is a prime number, but 6 can be split up into 3 times 2. Both 3 and 2 are prime numbers, so we can stop. Now if you check, the four prime numbers we ended up with are the exact same as before. No matter how you choose to split a number up, it will always end up with the same prime factors. Let's do one of these together. Let's prime factor the number 48. Well, 48 could be split up into 6 times what? 48 can be split into 6 times 8. And then are either of these prime numbers? No, we can break both of them up. 6 could be split up into 2 times what? 2 times 3. Are either of these prime numbers? Yes, both 2 and 3 are prime numbers. What can we split 8 into? We can split 8 up into 2 times 4. Which of these are prime numbers? Well, 2 is a prime number, but 4 is not, because it can be split up into 2 times 2. Now, both of these are prime numbers, so we can stop. We can write that 48 is equal to what? Well, we'll write out 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. Notice that I wrote my prime factors in order from smallest to biggest, just to stay organized. Now finally, you can check your work by multiplying all of the prime factors together. If you take 2, times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, times 2 is 16, and 16 times 3 does give you your answer of 48. So this is the correct prime factors of 48. Now it's time for you to try on your own. What are the prime factors of 40? Well, you could start by splitting 40 up into 5 times 8. You could have also done 4 times 10. It won't change your final outcome. Then 5 is a prime number, but 8 can be split up into 2 times 4. 2 is a prime number, but 4 can be split up into 2 times 2. And both of these 2s are prime. So we write that 40 is equal to 2 times 2 times 2 times 5. And you can check that 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, and 8 times 5 is 40. So this is the correct prime factors of 40. Here's your last one for today. What are the prime factors of 36? Well, you could split 36 into 6 times 6. Then the first 6 could be split up into 2 times 3, because both of those are prime. And the second 6 can be the same, 2 times 3. Both of those are prime. Now when we write this out, we'll organize our prime numbers from smallest to biggest, so we'll write that 36 is equal to 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. And you can check, because 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 3 is 12, and 12 times 3 is 36. So from today, remember, factor numbers until you're left with only prime numbers. And then you should multiply the factors together to check your work.